Now, Airtel Uganda's initial public offer, that's the IPO, has registered many local and international applicants in regard uh, to its ongoing call for both local and other investors across the continent to participate in buying of over 8 billion shares. Now, according to the managing director, Airtel Uganda, Manoj Amrali, uh, this application exercise will come to close in October 2023. Uh, therefore, there is room for all those interested to apply quickly before the deadline. He now joins us this evening on SAIT to give us an in-depth explanation on the IPO. Uh, many thanks for joining us this evening. Manoj. Thank you. Thank you for uh, inviting me here. Yeah. Can you please uh, tell us more about the recent changes in the incentive structure of Airtel Uganda's IPO? Uh, before that, I just want to clarify the IPO is uh, closing on uh, Seven, uh, on uh, 27th Friday at 4 p.m. 27th of October uh, and uh, the expected listing is on 7th of November. Uh, we have uh, shown our high intent to ensure that this IPO is a super success by doubling the incentive shares uh, for uh, all the, uh, all the uh, segments both for uh, retail and professional investors yeah. uh, and you know, this shows our intent to uh, ensure that this IPO is a success which will help develop capital markets which was the government's objective when this policy was put in place uh, as part of our uh, telecom license. All right, so uh, tell, walk us through about the incentive structure. Um, as I told you, uh, we have doubled our incentives so it's a great opportunity for customers uh, uh, investors to invest in the Airtel IPO mm. and be part of our growth story. Uh, the details of each of those uh, uh, in increase is there as part of our press release because it's a big table, yeah. but it's mostly doubling the incentive shares that we had given earlier. That's pretty interesting, but co what could have motivated uh, uh, this uh, decision? It's a heightened uh, you know, intent and uh, you know, to ensure that the IPO is a super success so that you know, it helps the objective of expanding the capital markets. And how do you think this uh, revised uh, incentive structure will benefit both the existing and the new applicants? Uh, so as you know, uh, Airtel has a, a very good history of giving uh, good dividends, which is there in our prospectus. We had spoken about it. Now with this additional bonus shares uh, and with the dividends that we expect in future, customers will get a very good return, much better than uh, what uh, we had given earlier because of the additional bonus shares. So you just talked about the closing date, uh, which is uh, a couple of days from, from today, on the 27th of October. So what sort of uh, support have you put in place for um, the last minute applicants? Uh, as you know, we have uh, uh, brokers and authorized, who are our authorized selling agents and we also have the lead bankers. Uh, they will uh, put in all efforts to ensure that the customers who want to invest uh, are well taken care of. Uh, it's not a very complicated process. There is always that MIPO platform of Airtel available so that customers uh, can uh, go through the MIPO platform and invest very easily in our shares. Mm. And uh, what can investors expect uh, after being allocated these shares in the IPO? Uh, once uh, allocation is done, we will ring the bell, most probably on 7th of uh, November and the shares will be listed on the stock exchange and it can be traded in the stock exchange. All right. And, uh, you, you seem very confident in uh, this success of Airtel Uganda's uh, um, IPO. Why do you think this is going to be very successful? See, you know, uh, we always uh, uh, remain confident yeah. that uh, this market has the potential to invest uh, in the IPO. And uh, you know, we are just trying our level best to ensure that this becomes a very successful IPO. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Airtel Uganda Managing Director Manoj Morali. Now moving on, gas hospitals uh, within hours of losing power 